Last week, Access introduced you to two local teachers who were awarded a fellowship for this coming school year from the Rowland Foundation, along with two former Rowland Foundation fellows from Rutland High School. Today, the executive director of the organization joins us to talk about the foundation's philosophy and how bottom-up change is the only way education in the state can change from its current model. After spending 15 years at Burn Burton, Chuck Scranton retired from principal at the academy to begin a new venture, the Rowland Foundation. With the financial backing of the Rowlands, Scranton set out to create a foundation that supports innovative and visionary teachers across high schools in Vermont who want to change the climate and culture in their respective schools. So we were looking for that vision, that passion, um, and that sense of urgency that a teacher has about wanting to step out of their classroom, take the risk of you know, being in the spotlight, because some people throw tomatoes at you, and, and affect change. Um, so the real criteria is, it, is it sustainable? Does it have the partnership and the support of the principal, which is absolutely key? The number of kids that it affects, you know, we don't want to fund something that sends a bunch of kids to, on a great trip for two weeks and it's got to be something that really does affect uh, a large number of students and, and potentially leads to a real shift in the culture and climate um, of the school. So it's those kind of qualities that we really are, are seeking, but it comes with having a passion, articulate, thoughtful, visionary teacher who wants to really get outside the box of their classroom. Rutland High School is a great example of change thanks in large part to its faculty, principal, and financial support from the foundation. RHS is the only school in Vermont the Rowland Foundation has awarded fellowships to three times. The four teachers we funded from Rutland, Adam's going on to be a principal at Proctor, um, are, are just the kind of rock stars we're looking for. And the program we funded with Adam, you know, the Freshman Academy, as it was called then, really is the definition of what we as a foundation believe it should look, you know, education should look like. So right up through with Marsha, Jen, and Erica, they just carry that ball. And, um, and, and, and the, the Ginn Conference and other things, people visiting Rutland because of what they're doing with freshmen is exactly what the Rowland Foundation is about. You know, I'd love to be able to say to someone who knocks on our door, would you tell me about whatever? And I say, go visit Rutland. Go visit South Burlington High School. Go visit for Jen's schools we funded because we know there's some, some really great people there. In January, Scranton, along with some Rowland Foundation fellows, spoke to the state legislature at an education summit. Our message was, <clears throat> you cannot legislate change. Top-down change just doesn't work. Um, Top-down mandated change leads to compliance. Well, that's, we're changing because we have to. Bottom-up change is usually fueled by passion. The Rowland Foundation, to date, has supported 37 fellows from 30 schools across Vermont. My hope, honestly, is that in five years, schools do not look the way they look today. Unfortunately, today, schools look very much like they did five years ago, 50 years ago, 100 years ago. And the definition of what schools should look like with authentic learning, with kids being able to, to find their passion, pursue their passion, at the same time getting the requisite skills they need to be successful, really requires us to redefine how we deliver education. I hope the Rowland Foundation, you know, I like to believe we're a part of that revolution. I hope going forward in five years, people will look back and say, wow, we've come a long way. We, meaning educators in Vermont, and the Rowland Foundation played a role in that. This October, the Rowland Foundation hosts its annual conference at UVM and will welcome keynote speaker Angela Duckworth, widely now known in the education world for her speeches on grit and how it is the key to success. You can find out more about the Rowland Foundation or its fall conference by visiting therowlandfoundation.org. 